What's up YouTube? This is All Things Quick. So today we're here at Princess Auto and I am getting something that I've been waiting to get. We're going to go inside the store here and we're going to purchase something that's going to help us in our endeavor in tearing this 3 liter engine down. Alright, so here it is. going to get ourselves an engine stand and I'm going to put that 3 liter engine on there and we're going to start taking it apart tonight. Alright, so here we are again, back in our element, in the shop. Got my engine stand here, and I'm going to take this thing apart, and I'm going to put it together. Apparently on Princess Auto, there's a bunch of reviews on this specific engine stand, and a lot of people are saying, oh, it doesn't fit a small block Chevy, oh, it doesn't fit an LS, oh, the welds are not good, like cheap Chinese stuff. Bro, it's 80 bucks, like, what do you expect? Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't fit an LS. Okay, then, like, modify the thing so it fits it, like. Like, it's cheap. It's not a, it's not a, you know, $500 engine stand. 80 bucks. Like, I don't know what people expect. This is the same as if you're in America as, like, Harbor Freight, right? It's, it's the same type of quality stuff. So, I'm not expecting nothing. If I have to modify it, I gotta do that. That's fine. I don't care. But we're gonna get building that. And then, hopefully, I can get that engine on there tonight. That's just my goal for this. For tonight, we're gonna jump straight into it. So here it is. Here's your cheap Chinese piece of junk that everyone was talking about from Princess Auto. I don't mind it. I think it's great. I mean, these are what they're talking about. Oh my gosh, the welds are protruding from here. Oh my goodness, the welds are no good. Who cares, man? Like, it's on there. Like, I, I'm not sure what they expect for 80 bucks. These welds are nice. Yeah, I mean, there's some splatter. It's painted over. Big flipping deal. Got its gusset, so it's fine. But anyways, this is my new engine stand. I'm going to get this three liter engine on it. I just need to take off this flywheel right here this starter motor is already off but just to take that off unbolt that get that drive shaft off as well because that doesn't need to be on there and then I can get the cherry picker back there hook up this engine on it and then I can get it set on this I'm hoping that actually you know what I'm gonna take this plate off because it's just by this pin here and take the plate off see if it mounts up properly first before I go through all that effort and if I have to modify it then I will but I don't think I have to because this is a pretty small engine block so so I, I don't I don't really have any concerns about that. Anyways, I'm gonna figure that one out and then get that all said and done. But this thing, man, the, the thing about these instructions, I'm not very good at like thread pitch or like diameter or size or whatever, and this is the only instruction it gives you, which is fine, but I'm just not good at reading like, you know, nut M14, bolt M12, like times 70. I'm not, I just not great at that stuff. So uh, it took me a little bit to actually get it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So got it done and we're just gonna get taking that flywheel off and jumping straight into this. Ah. All right, so I'm just gonna see if this fits. Hopefully this does fit, I think that it will, but Alright, see it will fit like that, but my problem is, is that my bolts for these ones don't fit in there. I'm gonna have to figure something out with that real quick. Okay, so I know what my next investment's gonna be. It's gonna be a drill press, so then I can do this. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I've decided I'm gonna do. So this obviously doesn't fit. It's pretty much the same size as that. I'm going to open up this hole so that this transmission bolt will fit inside of there, and it will drop straight down, and then I can just put it in the bottom half so it would be like that instead. So that's what I'm gonna do for the future. If I have a different engine on here that has a longer bolt, then I'll just slap a washer on that and then done deal. That's it. So 
that's really annoying. I cut that open because I wanted to use it, but the head of the bolt has this round uh, bit on it and it doesn't fit. So unfortunately, couldn't slip it all the way down in there like I wanted to. So I just welded a plate back on top, same gauge of steel. Like it's not pretty, I don't care. I'm just gonna drill a hole straight through here so then it can fit things again. And then I'm just going to cut the end of this off, which is what I should have done to begin with, but whatever, it is what it is. to be able to get this mount on there now that I cut those things and modified it. Just gonna do that real quick. By the way, there's those three pry points on there. That's what those things are for. There are these three little tabs right here. That's to pry it off equally so you don't break it. So this should work. Hopefully it works. Okay, that just fits on there. Except those bottom ones, I might have to cut them just a little bit more or else I might be pulling the threads on those. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the bottom ones just a little bit more so I don't pull threads and then... Okay, so I just tightened down these bolts here. These transmission bolts are on now. That's modified to be the way that it needs to be. Now I'm just going to get this thing on a cherry picker and get that drive shaft off as well because I don't need that. I'll slide it back onto this engine stand. Then I will have my motor ready to be taken apart. Okay, I'm just gonna take the drive shaft off now and that's the only thing that's preventing me from getting this thing on the engine stand. She don't want to go, boy. She don't want to go. Maybe I'll use something stronger. There you go, that's the drive shaft off. That's the transfer case drive shaft. So now this thing's ready to be cherry picked and go on the engine stand. I'm just gonna clean up this area so I can get the thing over here and actually put it on. engine on this engine stand now. I mean, this is not the way that it naturally sits. It sits like this normally, but actually kind of like that instead. Yeah, so I got this on here and this thing's cool. You just pull this pin, get that pin out, and then you move this thing. So I'm gonna drain the oil out of it now, just so then there's not much fluid in it. So when I do flip it over, it's not just gonna kind of pour out of there. I didn't drain the oil out of this thing before I took it out of the car. So I'm gonna do that right now real quick. So that's a thing. I just forgot that I pulled out the rear main seal on that thing. So when I went to turn it, solid string of oil just came out of there so I'm gonna clean that up yeah that was dumb I came straight out of the rear main right there that might be a good place to drain it just kidding I'm gonna do it properly out of the drain plug but so I think I'm just gonna tip it right out of the rear main because it needs to go that way anyway let's see how this goes Nope, that's not going where I want it to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Problem is is the drain pin is too much on an angle So this is the only other way, but that's not very good. Actually, hang on. Let's think about this All right, guess I'm holding it now. Okay, so this will be good for now until I can get that drain plug out Who knows how long that will be? Wow, that's super interesting. Wow, look at that. 
That's straight up water. Straight up water coming out of the oil pan. All right, let's see about that. Oh my God. Um, all right. Well, that's straight water. That is straight up water. Water and oil. Look at that. Holy crap. Anyways, that was water coming out of the oil pan there. I don't know what the hell that was about. That was actually a lot of water. I haven't seen that much water before. And like, wow. So that's that ridiculous mess cleaned up, which took a lot longer than you would think it took to clean up. Yeah, that was a lot of water that was in that engine. And I think that it's from it sitting outside for so long. It may have just found its way in there somehow. It was sitting outside like in the rain and the snow and the whatever, so. <sighs> Yeah, now that's done. I'm going to unbolt this because that is for a automatic transmission and I don't need that. Like it's actually garbage to me, I'm gonna throw it out. Yeah, cause I never use automatic stuff. I don't drive automatic BMWs. That I will throw in the back of my truck cause it's garbage and I'm gonna plug that drain plug there. Yeah, I think that I'm done for tonight. If you like that video, definitely hit that subscribe button and tune in for some more of this. Hit that like button, let me know that you did like it. Let me know down in the comments section below let me know what you think and don't forget to join our discord server the links in the description we'll see you in the next one see you later.